back to another lesson in Swift for Beginners. In the last lesson, we covered type aliases. And in today's lesson, I wanted to go over math functions and a very, very brief introduction to recursion. Um, let me preface this by saying recursion can become a very complex topic, but I figured it'd be very interesting for you guys to at least get a very brief overview of it. And should you be more interested and leave comments and I get feedback, um, I'd be more than happy to do another course just about recursion. But let's get started with the math functions. So let's delete all of this um, and create a variable x and make it 3. And let's create a variable y and make it 2. So uh, like any programming language, uh, Swift, of course, supports a variety of math functions. And what we can do to model it out is just go through them really fast. So of course we can add things together, so we can do x plus y. And over here we'll get our result in just a second. Cool. And of course we can also do uh, x minus y. We can do x divided by y. And if you guess the last one, we can do x times y. So multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition, pretty basic concepts. Um, you can do all of them pretty easily. The important thing to know here is these are both ints, right? They're both of type integer. Now we haven't explicitly put it here, but Swift has inferred it by what we're assigning to the variable x and the variable y. To perform math functions on two variables, they must be the same type. So if we make this, a float with a bunch of um, decimal points, it's going to start yelling about all of these uh, math operations because, again, Swift is a strongly typed language and they need to be the same. So those are your basic math functions. They're pretty heavily used um, in different calculations, as you can imagine. Now, there are math operands to get like pi and round numbers up and round numbers down. The Instead of running through all of those, as there are a ton of them, I wanted to show one specific one that's pretty pretty cool and uh, used more often than one would think. But let's start by making um, this 30, and let's start by making this 7. So and that operand is called the modulo operator. And what we're going to do is we're going to say var result is 6 percent y. What this is basically saying is, give me the remainder after you've tried to put y into x as many times as you can. So what does that mean? So y is 7 and x is 30. 7 can go into 30 four times before it can't go in any more evenly. So 7, and then 14, and then 21, and then 28. But if you add another 7 to 28, you're going to go above 30. So 7 can go into 30 four times, and there is a remainder of 2. So the result here is 2. And why? so why is this kind of useful? So the modulo operator is often used to see if something is either even or odd or divisible by another number. So let's say you wanted to find every even position or every odd position in a list of numbers. You can say if result equals zero, you can continue. So what this is basically saying is if the y can evenly go into x with no remainder, well, and let's give an example of that, let's say like 10. 10 can go into 30 three times, and there will be a remainder of 0 because it's, it is divisible by um, 30 is divisible by 10 evenly. Uh, that means it is, a, it is divisible by uh, the like 10, 30, and 3. So you can go into here. Otherwise, if it's not, do something else. So this is a commonly used operand. Um, and it's pretty cool if you actually wrap your head around it. And once you start seeing it in, in the wild, so to say, but uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to go over in math functions. Now let's just take a very quick look at recursion, um, and we'll end the lesson after that. So recursion is the concept of calling 
a function uh, within a function. So what does that mean? So let's say we have a function called add, and it takes in two numbers, and let's say it returns a number. Recursion is the notion of, firstly, doing the operation that you want to do in the op in the function itself. So in this case, we just want to add the two numbers, and then calling the same function well right now it does not want to cooperate because this is incorrectly spelled let's just return zero down here to make this happy and cool and do that so Recursion is a concept of calling the same function that you're in recursively over and over again to get to a particular result. So to preface, I mean, again, I'm, I'm going to go over this very briefly as this itself needs a nice two hour course to fully explain. But imagine if you had a checkers board, like a board game, like a board game for like checkers. If you wanted to find all the combinations that a person can move their piece, to do that one by one would be insane and would be not it would not be practical. So recursion would basically be very useful in that situation. So the no the notion is you would start at a particular square and you would recurse through the same function and go to every single possible next square from the given start point, and eventually you're gonna hit the other side of the board and that's where your recursive function stops. So recursion is the notion of iterating through a large amount of combinations to find a pathway or to find a particular thing you're looking for. So another real world example is, imagine your Facebook friends. So Facebook, um, when they interview candidates for software engineering positions and Swift uh, as well, what they'll ask for is a lot of recursion questions and recursion-based theory. And the reason they do that is if you can imagine, if you, if you try to draw out on a piece of paper dots representing people, you have several dots that connect to you, which are your friends. Then they have several dots that connect to each of them that are their friends. So let's say you wanted to find how many how many people away, rather how many mutual friends sit between you and another person. You can recursively go through all the connections that you have as friends and their connections and so on and so forth until you find that said person. So recursion is a pretty powerful algorithm actually that when applied properly to large sets of data can yield really, really cool results. And again, the notion is calling yourself this as in the same function from within that given function. And there is something called a base case, which is you want to have a point in the function where instead of calling yourself, it will start returning or stop calling itself. And the reason you want to do that is if you don't have a base case where this is the re this is the point where the function stops, it's just going to call itself um, in like a limitless way. Uh, in essence, just becoming an inf infinite while loop. So that's the, na the nature of recursion. So I hope that brief introduction uh, made sense to some degree. And again, leave some comments uh, and reach out if you want to learn more about this. And I would certainly be happy to make a course on it. Other than that, we went over math already, and that was recursion. So I'm going to end the lesson right here. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment, follow, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.